Fire crews in North Muskegon say a man made what could have been a deadly mistake. Yeah, a guy out joy riding in his truck on Muskegon Lake went right through the ice overnight. 24 Hour News 817's live where it happened for us tonight. Evan. Brian and Sue, good evening. Fortunately, that man did make it out. He is okay, but his truck is not. It's actually about 30 yards behind us under the ice, submerged in some 10 to 12 feet of water. And now dive crews are in the middle of a frigid, difficult task of pulling this truck out. In the heart of Michigan winters, shanties and ice fishermen are common sights. But as this sign perhaps foretold, driving a vehicle out here typically not a good idea. We're very fortunate we're not dealing with a fatality. The local fire chief got a call from the driver around 8 this morning. The man was apparently out joy riding in the overnight hours. Got on the ice at the 2nd Street boat launch and made it some three quarters of a mile before a missed turn meant a turn for the worse near the conservation club. And he uh, then uh, re realized he missed and turned towards shore, and that's when his vehicle uh, went through. He was able to escape his truck, wet, cold, and embarrassed, but otherwise okay. As for the truck, that spent much of the day undetectable in some 10 to 12 feet of water. This is not your everyday tow. Uh, no, it's not. Tonight, a local tow company was called out to get the truck out. What's the reaction? Surprise? N nothing surprises me anymore. <laughs> this is crazy. Local fishermen also gathered around the unusual scene to watch. Yeah, get some walleye here and some perch, yes. Yeah, and a truck. <laughs> yeah, make a snag a truck now and then. <laughs> but jokes aside, no doubt, there's a serious warning at hand. Vehicles are not designed to be on water and use the utmost common sense. Now, we did come into contact with the driver out on this scene earlier. As you could imagine, he did not want to talk with us about this. Uh, the fire chief is not IDing him, at least not right now. Now, it is unclear, as I'm sure many of you are wondering, if this man had been drinking while this happened, and we perhaps may never know, given how this all played out. Now, it's also unclear if he'll face any criminal charges, but he most certainly will be on the hook for this t towing bill, and he also could be facing some tickets and fines from the D. DNR. As for the dive crews, they were out just moments ago. We understand they're going to get more air so they can go back under in that frigid water. We're told they're close to finally getting this truck out. Reporting live in North Muskegon, Evan Dean, 24-Hour News 8.